Two Indian clerics from the Hazrat Nizamuddin Shrine in Delhi who went missing during a pilgrimage to Lahore and Karachi last week have returned to the capital. The clerics were traced after efforts from the External Affairs Ministry and the Indian High Commission. Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj had also spoken to Sartaj Aziz, the Pakistan Prime Minister's foreign affairs advisor. One of the relatives of the clerics told NDTV that they had been picked up by Pakistan's intelligence agencies. I have with me Mr. Saj uh, Sayed Sajid uh, Nizami. Uh, sir, uh, sir, so this is the paper that they say, the paper called Ummat, that had details uh, stating that Mr. Nizami was uh, in fact uh, uh, an agent of the RAW who had come in and then after that whatever has transpired in Pakistan happened. ये बताइए क्या हुआ exactly वो जो दो दिन वो missing थे क्या अभी वो अखबार लेकर आए हैं और उन्होंने बताया इस अखबार की base के ऊपर मुझे detain करा था अच्छा वहाँ पे मगर उनको कुछ नहीं मिला तो फिर उन्होंने इस अखबार में exactly लिखा क्या है इसमें ये लिखा है कि Indian intelligence के ये आदमी थे और उसके लिए ये पाकिस्तान में काम कर रहे ये चीज़ है उनके खिलाफ लिखी है तो उसके बेसिस पे 14 को दोनों को डिटेन किया गया जी 13 वहाँ 14 को 14 वहाँ 14 15 और फिर क्वेश्चनिंग हो और उसके बाद नहीं उसके बाद पूछताछ करी उनसे मगर फिर उन्होंने देखा कि ये तो साफ़ हैं क्लियर हैं हम लोगों का तो किसी से ताल्लुक ही नहीं है Ishadrita Lahiri joins us on the phone line from the capital. Ishadrita, they are claiming that uh, Pakistani intelligence agencies picked them up for questioning after a Pakistan media report claimed that they were raw agents. Well, um, Amitabh, there have been uh, varying narratives as to exactly what happened on, on, on those three days that these two clerics had gone missing. Now, um, Asif Adi's son, of course, as we just heard, is saying, uh, and he even showed us the paper where he said that there was a uh, media report by a newspaper called the Ummat, and uh, where they made uh, allegations uh, saying that these guys are colluding, colluding uh, with, uh, uh, I mean, I, I mean, they're colluding with the raw. They are with the raw, and uh, therefore they were they were detained. So uh, he has accepted that they were detained. However, the two clerics, even now, have not come on record to uh, actually say that. In fact, they just had a meeting with the Minister of External Affairs. And after that, even then, they said that they did not go to Sindh, which is what they are rubbishing reports in the Pakistani media, saying that they were in Sindh and they, they were uh, not uh, they were they were not in a good network area, which is why they couldn't reach out to their family. So they rubbish that, saying that we never went to Sindh. But on record, they ha the two clerics are not stating that they are uh, that uh, that they have been detained. So as of now, there are two varying narratives. But from the family, what we are learning, and that they are saying that after speaking to the clerics. They are saying that they were detained and they were, in fact, questioned uh, on the basis of that report that came out uh, in Ummat, which is a Pakistani paper.